Hey, it's Chris from Catalyst, and you've come to the gym, you've done an in-body scan, you've stood on the body comp analyzer, and you've got all your numbers here. What do they mean? What do you do with them? How do you change your diet or your workout based on those numbers that you've gotten? Well, today, I'm going to walk you through your in-body scan and tell you what it means. And then in the next video, I'll tell you what kind of exercises you can do to improve your body fat percentage. And then in the third video, I'll tell you how you can change your nutrition plan or even build your own nutrition plan to improve your body composition. So here we go. When you're looking at your in-body scan, there's going to be a lot of numbers on there that might make not much sense to you. So here's what's important. Number one, when you come to Catalyst, you're going to get your own unique ID so that every time you come and do your scan, you're going to see your progress. It's going to update. So down at this bottom, I'll show you what these numbers mean, but you'll be able to track your progress over time. Now, there's a few numbers we're going to start with here. You don't have to worry about every single number on this page. And of course, your Catalyst coach is going to tell you exactly what to pay attention to. But to start with, there are a few things that we want to look at. Number one is your weight. This isn't killer. Like the, the most important thing on this scan is going to be your body fat percentage. And I'll explain why in a moment, but we want to know what weight we're starting with and how much of that weight is fat. So if I'm looking at 186.9 pounds, which was me yesterday morning, how much of that was fat? 25.8 pounds. Okay. Interesting. We're going to talk about what that actually means here in a moment. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to the second part and I'm going to see three numbers. You've got my, my weight again. Here it is, same number, 186.9. How much of that weight is actually muscle? Well, it looks like 92 pounds of that is muscle. Okay, that's good. And 25 pounds of that is going to be fat. All right. So the next thing that I want to look at is body fat percentage. And this is where the rubber really meets the road. Of that weight that I have, what percent body fat am I? Well, if I go down here, what I'll see is that I'm 13.7% body fat. Now that puts me in an excellent range for somebody who's 186.9 pounds and 48 years old. However, if I look at the number above that, BMI, BMI is what most doctors would look at when they're trying to figure out my health risk. And BMI is just basically um, height divided by weight. And my BMI is 26.1. But what's interesting about that BMI score is that it doesn't factor in muscle versus fat. It doesn't factor in bone density or anything like that. And if I just looked at my BMI score, I would say that I'm overweight, bordering on obese. And if you're obese on the BMI score, you're at risk for uh, type 2 diabetes and a bunch of other like insulin resistant problems. So here's what's crazy. If I look at body fat, you know, at 13.7%, I'm about five pounds away from a visible six pack all day long. At 26.1% or 26.1 BMI, I'm five pounds away from being at risk of type two diabetes. And so the reason that we want to be looking at percent body fat all the time is because that gives us a much clearer indication of what you're actually made up of, not just your height and your weight. Most Things that you'll see from the healthcare, whether you're in the States or in Canada or any other Western nation, most prescriptions for healthcare are based on BMI. And that's just too vague a term for us. So here's the real question. If we're 13.7% body fat, how do we improve that? There's two ways to do it. Number one, you can improve your lean body mass by increasing the muscle that you have. Now, this lean body mass of 161.2 pounds is my muscles. It's also my organs and my bones and my brain, you know, my, my skeleton and my skull. It's everything but the fat, okay? So if you wanted to and you wanted to add this 25.8 pounds back in, you'd come up with the 186.9 number. The lean body mass, though, is what we're going to use to make your nutrition plan because we don't want to feed the fat. We want to starve the fat and feed the muscle feed the bones, feed the organs, feed the important stuff and starve the fat. So we're going to be basing our nutrition program in um, the next video on this number, the 161.2 lean body mass. Okay. What this also tells us is our basal metabolic rate. So this 161.2 pounds is the part of me that eats. That's the part that has to be fed, right? Uh, my muscles need 
protein and they also need carbohydrates. And um, I, you know, I use fats and proteins and carbs for other things too, but like my bones need to eat, my organs need to eat, my fat doesn't need to eat. So we're going to be basing our diet off this. And with those things eating all the time, this is how many calories they eat in a day. It's hundred or 1,950 calories a day. So with no exercise, just my muscles and bones and organs eating away, that's how many calories a day they eat. So if I were to lay flat on a bed, not sleeping, but arms at my sides and not moving for 24 hours, that's how many calories I would burn. When I start exercising, I'm going to be bringing those calories up. And when I talk about nutrition in a future video, I'm going to tell you like how many of those calories should be coming from protein, carbs, and fat. But don't worry, this is already starting to sound complicating. I'm going to make it as simple as I possibly can for you. This is what your in-body scan is all about. In general, you want a lower fat mass number. You want a lower percent body fat. And don't worry, you can get all the way down to like 5% without, you know, health risk or anything like that. You're not going to get there without like severely trying. You want a body mass index that's lower, but again, we don't really care that too much about it. To get there, we want skeletal muscle mass that's higher. Gaining muscle does a few things for you. Number one, it cranks up your metabolism. So you burn more and more calories, right? The, the more lean body mass you have, the more calories you burn just by doing nothing. That's what your metabolism is. The next thing is um, if you get more lean muscle mass, you're not going to look like a bodybuilder. You know, especially women, you're not going to like bulk up. Women sometimes say to me, Coop, I don't want to, I don't want to bulk up. Hey, don't worry about it. Like that, that muscle is not what's bulking you up, right? The, the fat is bulking you up. And if you can lose fat while you're gaining muscle at the same time, you'll actually look a lot leaner, even if you wind up being a little bit heavier from the muscle that you've got, right? You'll, you'll look way leaner. So the, the things that we could do to improve our body fat are going to be increase muscle mass and then decrease overall weight. And if we can do that, our percentage body fat will go down. You'll look leaner. You get to, down to about, you know, 12 and a half percent. You're going to have visible abs all the time. And the way that we do that is going to be through a combination of diet and exercise, which I will share in the next video.